Welcome back. I believe that the majority of you here watching me on YouTube also follow me on Instagram and watch me on Instagram stories where I share pretty much every single day and I share a lot of great messages, tips, and advice to help you optimize your life. I share a lot of daily nuggets on Instagram stories. If you are not following me there, I highly encourage you do if you like my content. If you like the messages that I bring to you here, please take advantage of that platform for daily inspiration and motivation. As you know, I'm a certified professional coach. I help people see and live their potential to see meaning and purpose in who they are and what they contribute to their lives and the lives of others to optimize the now. If you want to learn more about me and my coaching packages that I offer, check out my personal brand website as well as my coaching and consulting website. Both will be linked in the description box below. Well, one of the things that I love to do is cook and bake and I host family dinner pretty much weekly and I do a lot of entertaining and hosting. In fact, this coming Saturday, I am hosting a big party and I had a big party last weekend. By big, this one here is about 20 to 25 people. So I love to host, I love to entertain. And one of the things that I enjoy doing when I'm not working is cooking and baking. And my family members love that because they get to indulge in what I prepare. So um, I always cooked family dinner as our girls were growing up. You know, Paul and I have five, five daughters and we only have one left in the home. So I've always cooked. I grew up learning how to cook and bake and it is something that I enjoy to do and I do it well. Well, I share a lot of what I prepare on Instagram stories and I do have a recipe tab on my personal brand website. So check that out if you're looking for some new recipes. If it's not phenomenal, it doesn't make the recipe tab. So I guarantee you there's some really great yummy stuff there. And most of it is what I would call comfort food or standard American diet, which is what I grew up eating and so did Paul. I'm not going to go into detail on my diet today and what my diet has looked like for the last 15 years, but I will share that I no longer eat standard American diet except for a couple of times per week. And I call those celebratory meals. If you follow me, this is not anything new. Like I said, I don't need to go into detail. And if you want more detail, I have plenty of videos sharing what I eat in a day. I will have that library linked. That will give you an idea of how I eat, why I eat the way I do. As you know, I'm a health and wellness coach, but you'll get all of that information there. What I want to do today is address a question that actually came through last night on Instagram. I, I got a direct message because I had shared my Oreo chocolate chip cookie bars that I made with M&Ms. I don't know if you can see, but I will put an image in here somewhere of the direct message that I received. This person asked, and I get this all the time when I share the standard American diet diet food that I prepare and show on Instagram stories. So let me read the question. Do you eat any of the desserts you make or dinner you make for Paul? Or are these SAD, which is standard American diet, you stay away from? Well, this is a great question. And again, I get this all the time. So I thought I'm going to do a video strictly for this. Now, let me share. Often you will hear someone say, 
um, everything in moderation, right? And you know I debunk the everything in moderation because most often when someone says everything in moderation, they're not really honoring everything in moderation. Typically, this is a person who has a desire to lose weight and they're clearly not eating in moderation. I don't prescribe to everything in moderation. If I did, I too would probably be, I can pretty much guarantee I wouldn't be in my weight window. You've also probably heard 80-20. Well, I've always, I've never prescribed to that either because to me, 80-20 is going to creep me out of my weight window and I only have one size of clothing. In fact, the jeans that I'm wearing today, they're telling me that I need to snug it up a little bit and it makes complete sense that they are a little bit snug because I've kind of been celebrating this summer at times a little more than I should. Now I did weigh myself this morning and I am at my weight window, but I'm at the higher part. And you know, I have a weight window that I stand, which is 120 to 125. If I creep out of that, my clothes don't fit me the way I desire, and I don't have another clothing size to wear. So that holds me accountable, okay? I don't place a lot of value on the scale, but it is a tool that I use because I can typically say, hmm, makes complete sense. We're kind of getting up there. So I'm at the higher part of my weight window. So it would make sense that while I still fit in my clothing and they do look good, they're getting a little bit tighter. So it's a great tool to use. I feel like your clothes will never lie, but many people have a bigger size that they can always resort to. It's perfect. I love the fact that I don't do that because mm, it sets the record straight. I recently did an exercise, and I'm, I'm going to share it with you. It's, it'll be in the description box below, where I quizzed myself by tracking my eating to see what percentage I do eat. What percent do I eat clean, and what percent don't I? Am I 80-20? Am I 85, 15? Am I 90, 10? What am I? So I tracked my eating for 30 days and it came out that I eat 97% clean and 3% what I call celebratory. You can call it cheat meal. It's whatever you want. I have no negative energy towards any of those terms. I call it celebratory meal, cheat meal, whatever. It all works for me. So only 3% of my diet is celebratory, which would typically be standard American diet. So this person wants to know, do I indulge? Well, everyone is different, and I have many videos to help encourage you to get to your weight window. I believe we all need a window, not an ideal weight, but a window. And depending on your height and how much you weigh, that window could be five pounds like I have, it could be three pounds, it could be seven pounds. 10 pounds is probably getting to be a little bit too much, but again, every Everyone is different, and if you work with me, I help determine what that weight window should look like for you based on your realistic goals. Not my goals, your goals. It's all about the client. I have found that to manage my weight window, I get away, I get elbow room with about two celebratory meals per week. That's what falls into that 3%. So that means 97% of the time I'm eating clean, nutritionally dense food, the food that you will see in my What I Eat in a Day videos. The other 3% ends up being about two celebratory meals per week and they are standard American diet because typically I'm eating out at a restaurant and that's always standard American diet. Even, even though I eat fish and sometimes the vegetable, it's still standard American diet. We're at a restaurant. It's all in how it's prepared. 
But I don't limit myself. If I want the bread, if I want dessert, if I want an appetizer, and I'll knock down a plate of nachos like no tomorrow when I'm having a celebratory meal. Um, I have no guilt and shame about what I eat. It's a beautiful place to be, but I've managed this for over 15 years. So I have found about two per week. If I have an extra one, a third one, I am always going to creep out of that weight, weight window and I am going to really be getting snug in my clothing, which is where I don't want to go. But sometimes I'll take it. Sometimes I will, especially if I'm on vacation or if there's a whole weekend of celebrating. But I'm going in knowing, ugh, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of <laughs> pounds on this weekend or this vacation, but I'm always right back on the plan. So I'm doing it with intention. I'm doing it deliberately, knowing the consequence, and I'm okay with that because I manage my weight year round. I have managed my weight my whole entire life, even through five pregnancies. So that's how I do that. So to answer that question, it's hard to give an exact because a lot of the meals that I prepare throughout the week for Paul and Chloe, some of them I just wouldn't take the celebratory meal. It's not something that I like. I'm not a big fan of red meat. So if I cook roast beef or if I make meatloaf, I can barely even stand the smell of meatloaf. Um, I made... Um, Beef stroganoff this past week, I have no desire to eat something like that. So I would say throughout the week, I typically do not take a celebratory meal. I eat my normal clean food like you'll see in my videos. Now, I do prepare family dinner and all the kids come over and we have family dinner usually on Friday nights because I watch my two grandchildren. Pretty soon it will be three because we have a baby due October 3rd right after this video publishes or shortly after. And I will prepare dinner and feed everyone. I try to prepare something that I love because I love my food. It is so good. Like I said, my recipes are amazing. And I always have dessert and sometimes I have an appetizer. So typically, I will plan that out because, you know, I plan ahead. I plan next week, this week, and organize tomorrow, today. I will plan that, and I will take a celebratory meal. And then often some other day throughout the week, Paul and I have something going where we're going to dinner. Maybe we're going out with another couple or family or friends, and that's when I'll take the other celebratory meal. So I can't give a concrete, straight answer to this question. Um, I will say that I did, so the bars that I showed, I did have one of those. I did take a celebratory meal that night. And actually, if you go to Friday's Instagram stories highlight bubble, you will see what I prepared. I did take a celebratory meal, but I took a kind of smaller one. I didn't overindulge at all, which I typically don't do. But I had a smaller portion that evening because the next day, which is actually the day I'm filming this, I will also be taking a smaller, more modified celebratory meal. And I'm trying to count that as one meal. So sometimes I will finagle it that way. I share this because two things. Number one, I just... I can't encourage you enough to put the work in up front, choose your hard, and get to your realistic weight window. It will be tough. It will be brutal. But taking the easy route like you may be taking because you don't want to choose your hard, is it serving you? Those of us that manage our weight we are choosing our hard. We are the ones putting the work in day in, day out to be that 97% clean to 3% celebratory. And I'll tell you, you really do learn the art of appreciating food. And you get to a place where a lot of things that most people would eat, they are not good enough for you. They are not as high of quality and high caliber 
is your elite self, right? I am very choosy about what I am going to celebrate with as far as food. If it's ho-hum, it is not high quality and high caliber for my elite self. Yeah, it's good to, to see it that way because you're worth it. You are a successful person. You are not going to settle for mediocre food, right? You're going to settle for the best and something you truly love that brings you so much pleasure because food is pleasurable. It's a beautiful. I see food in a very positive way. I don't have any negative energy towards it, but I manage myself. I choose my heart. Make sure you watch my video where I talk about choosing your heart. Do you want to stay stuck where you are? Well, that's hard. You've got to choose the heart that serves you the best. So, Right there is just tip number one. Get yourself to where you want to be. It's hard, but it's worth it. You're worth it. You are so worth it. See yourself that way. Tell yourself no. We no longer do that. Almost like there's two of you. We no longer settle. We no longer do that. We once did, but we no longer settle for that mediocre, right? And then when you get to your weight window, it's all about managing it. And how do you manage it? Well, 97 to 3. So are you pretty much on a, some people would call it restricted diet? Well, I like to look at diet as calorie restricting. You're not calorie restricting when you get to where I am. It's just you have a plan. So is there a restriction? Well, yeah, of course there is. It's restricting from taking too many celebratory meals that's gonna creep me out of my weight window and creeping into a size I don't have in my closet. So while you'll hear people say, I don't believe in diets, well, at the end of the day, well, essentially, maybe they're not dieting, meaning they're not calorie restricting, but they are restricting because they're following their plan to manage their weight. That's a plan. And they're on the plan year round to manage that. So sure, don't call it diet, but it is a plan. And you have to honor that plan if you want to stay in your weight window and manage it. So thank you for the question that came in from whoever it did. And I did reply back that there's a video coming, but Hopefully what I shared today gives you some insight. I can't tell you how many celebratory meals you will get once you're in your weight window. If you work with me one-on-one -on -one with health and wellness coaching, we will determine that. But we have to work at getting you where you want to be to that ideal weight window. Once you're there, we do some playing around to see how much elbow room you get. I have a great friend who gets away with more celebratory meals because she has some rules around her celebratory meals. She doesn't eat any of the bread. It, while she may have the alcohol, she doesn't eat the bread and she does modify her entree. She, she talks to the server and modifies some things about her entree. She also is always going to get like the steamed vegetables where I may get the risotto, right? So her celebratory meals aren't as grand as mine. So it would make sense that she may get more per week than I do and manage her weight. Everyone is different. We all have our own path, our own journey, our own lane, our own box. And the most important thing is we get to know ourselves, and we don't worry too much about what someone else is doing. So this was a great question. Please notepad this video somewhere so that you can refer back to it when you are wondering how I eat. Um, I wish I could say it was all cut and dry. It simply is not that way, but I know my body, I know how much elbow room I get, and I'm always on the plan. So thanks again for being here. That was a great question, and hopefully you took away some nuggets. All right, we'll see you soon here on YouTube, and don't forget to be watching me on Instagram stories for a lot of the same type of content. I share stuff like this all the time. I had a great one 
a great story on Saturday. So check out last week's highlights. I clear them out about every single week. So every seven days, I clear them out to put the new ones in. So follow me there. Also sign up for my two weekly newsletters. One goes out on Friday and one goes out on Monday. And there's so much great content there as well. So thank you for being here. And thanks for just being a part of this platform. And be sure to join me over on Instagram. That's a great platform as well. All right, take care.